Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Today we're working on a washing machine. The problem that we are running into is once you get all the clothes into the washing machine and you start the cycle, once it gets to the rinse portion of the washing, the entire system stops. So basically your clothes are left inside the tub, stranded, and they don't get all the way through the cycle and not washed all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to run you through the most common fix on how to uh, get the washing machine to pass the rinse portion and actually complete the cycle. And that starts with your timer. And this is the cycle knob up close. And most manufacturer designs, it is a push and pull knob, as you can hear with the click. On the back side of this uh, piece here is the uh, timer. So we are going to show you the step-by-step procedures on how to pop this off. Before anything, what you want to do is you want to cut all electrical power that leads to this washing machine. Now that the electrical power is taken away from the entire washing machine, what I did was disconnected the cord from the outlet. And next I grabbed a Phillips screwdriver as well as a quarter inch socket wrench. And your model could be different but on the back side of the unit, you're going to notice a couple screws. So what I want to point out here, right there is a Phillips screw. You're going to have one on the left side and all the way on the right, as well as this little piece right here for that quarter inch uh, socket wrench. And again, your model could be different. You could have several screws located on the top of this or on the bottom. At this point, you've got the screws out. Again, four on this model. Yours could be different. Now, you just basically pull up on the cover and very carefully open it, and you're going to have access to the timer. There it is. Now, you're going to be working around a lot of electrical wiring as well as some plastic parts, so be very careful. Next part, I'm going to push in this tab. I'm going to disconnect this whole electrical harness here from the timer as well as that. On this specific model, usually, on other models, this little uh, locking mechanism, what you'll do is you'll grab a very small flathead screwdriver, and basically you'll just pop that out, and that will give you access to pull this timer out. However, on this specific model, this part goes with the timer, and the, the new timer has one. So to get this loose, basically grab the locking mechanism with your needle nose pliers, on the opposite side, you're just basically going to pull on the knob until it comes off, just like that. Now that we have the knob off, that gives us access to this part, and basically just slowly pull it off the harness there, okay? And again, be very careful because these parts are uh, plastic and, and quite brittle as they age, okay? And from here, it basically gives us access to disconnect this timer. Down on the bottom portion, you'll notice a couple uh, kind of tabs where you'll just pop those out. There's one here and there's uh, maybe one or two on the opposite side. Now that the old timer's off, we're going to set that aside and got the proper model number for the replacement. And now I'm just going to reverse the steps. Basically, take mental note or pictures as you work through the project to know exactly how this part goes back on. Pretty darn easy. So on the bottom portion, you're going to see these tabs here, okay, and as well as this front tab right there, that's going to fit into these four corners, and then this little tab. Basically, you set it in, shift it back. Now, once the new part is in, you're going to hear it as you shift it into place. It will click on this bottom portion at that point. Give it another little tug, make sure it is secure. From here, you're going to put on the knob and the selector there. All right, now that the cover is in the upright position, you're going to grab your dial here and basically the faceplate with the selector point. On the back side, you've got some grooves, so very important you do align these grooves properly on this plastic part. If you don't, you could harm these plastic parts and then it uh, could not function correctly. So again, be very careful as you maneuver this back on. 
Okay. Next part, you want to do the same thing. You're going to notice the tip of the plastic part here. It's designed to fit only one way on this knob. Okay, so you're going to put that on as well. Just like that. Now the electrical wires are going to go back on and again snap them into place. Okay, that one's in there. The part's in. It's now secure. Again, double check everything and now you're going to slowly put this back in the upright position and you're going to position it back into the little slot and from there you are going to tighten it down with the screws. Now that the entire unit is back together, double check everything, make sure everything is firm and don't forget the very last step. You're going to plug in the washer back into the outlet, give electrical power back to the unit and you are going to test it out by doing a load of laundry. I hope this helps. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Keep watching. Thanks.